Uterine fibroids are non-cancerous growths that develop from the muscle tissue of the uterus, benign tumors made of smooth muscle and connective tissue. They're not cancer, and having them is extremely common. In fact, up to 70 to 80% of people with a uterus will develop fibroids by age 50. Fibroids can be tiny, like a seed, or as large as a grapefruit, and you might have one or many. Most people don't even know they have them. Fibroids often cause no symptoms. They're also called leomyomas or myomas. The word tumor here just means a growth, not something dangerous. Having fibroids isn't a sign of failure or something you did wrong. It's just a medical condition. For many, fibroids are harmless and don't require treatment. For others, they can cause symptoms that range from mild to severe. The key is understanding what they are and knowing your options. Fibroids don't increase your risk of uterine cancer. The conversation around fibroids should be free of shame and stigma. Managing symptoms and maintaining quality of life is the goal. Knowledge is power. Understanding fibroids is the first step. Let's explore where they grow, what they feel like, and what you can do if they become a problem. The type of fibroid you have depends on where it grows in or on the uterus. Intramural fibroids grow within the muscular wall, sometimes making the uterus feel larger. Subserosal fibroids grow on the outside, bulging into the pelvic cavity and sometimes pressing on organs like the bladder. Submucosal fibroids grow just under the uterine lining and can cause heavy bleeding or fertility issues, even if they're small. Some fibroids are attached by a stalk. These are called pedunculated fibroids. You can have more than one type at the same time, and symptoms vary based on size, number, and location. That's why fibroid experiences are so different from person to person. Knowing your fibroid type helps your doctor recommend the best treatment. The right diagnosis is key to managing symptoms. Understanding location helps you make informed decisions. Next, let's talk about what symptoms to watch for. Many people with fibroids have no symptoms at all, they're often found by chance. If you do have symptoms, the most common is heavy or prolonged menstrual bleeding. This can lead to anemia, causing fatigue and weakness. Fibroids can also cause pelvic pressure, frequent urination, constipation, or a feeling of fullness. Some people notice pain during sex or lower back pain. Rarely, a fibroid can outgrow its blood supply and cause sharp pain. If you notice any of these symptoms, talk to your doctor. Early recognition can help you manage symptoms before they worsen. Let's look at why fibroids develop in the first place. The exact cause of fibroids isn't fully understood, but hormones and genetics play big roles. Estrogen and progesterone fuel fibroid growth, which is why they're rare before puberty and shrink after menopause. If your mother or sister had fibroids, your risk is higher. Black women are more likely to develop fibroids, often at a younger age and with more severe symptoms. Early menstruation, obesity, and a diet high in red meat may increase risk. Pregnancy and childbirth seem to lower risk. Some risk factors are out of your control, but understanding them can help you make informed choices. Remember, having fibroids isn't your fault. Ongoing research may lead to better treatments in the future. Now, let's see how doctors diagnose fibroids. Early detection is key to effective management. Diagnosis starts with a discussion about your symptoms and a pelvic exam. If your uterus feels enlarged or irregular, your doctor may suspect fibroids. Ultrasound is the most common way to confirm fibroids. It's safe, painless, and shows size and location. Sometimes an MRI is used for more detail, especially before surgery. Other tests like hysteroscopy or sonohistogram help identify fibroids inside the uterine cavity. These tools help your doctor create a treatment plan tailored to you. Accurate diagnosis means better outcomes. Next, let's talk about treatment options. Not all fibroids need treatment if you have no symptoms. Watchful waiting is often best. If symptoms are mild, over-the-counter pain relievers or hormonal medications can help control bleeding and pain. Some medications shrink fibroids temporarily, often before surgery. For more severe symptoms, surgical options like myomectomy remove fibroids but keep the uterus intact, important if you want children. Hysterectomy, or removal of the uterus, is the only permanent cure but ends fertility. Less invasive procedures like uterine artery embolization or focused ultrasound can shrink fibroids without major surgery. The best treatment depends on your symptoms, fibroid size and location, and your personal goals. Talk with your doctor to find the right approach for you. There are many safe, effective options. Let's discuss fibroids and pregnancy, and when to seek help. 
Fibroids are almost always benign. Cancer is extremely rare. Most people with fibroids have normal pregnancies, but large or submucosal fibroids can sometimes cause complications like pain, miscarriage, or preterm labor. During pregnancy, fibroids may grow due to increased hormones, but they often shrink after menopause. Symptoms usually improve as hormone levels drop. If you have heavy bleeding, severe pain, pelvic pressure, frequent urination or pain during sex, see your doctor. Bleeding between periods or signs of anemia, like extreme fatigue, are also reasons to seek help. You don't have to live with uncomfortable symptoms. Fibroids are manageable, and treatment can improve your quality of life. Early intervention makes a difference. Don't hesitate to ask questions or seek support. Your health and comfort matter. With the right care, you can take control of your fibroid journey. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself and stay informed.